from Tim Lester. Good morning, Tim. Good day, Marcus. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. I really appreciate you finding a bit of time for our program. Uh, we, we greatly appreciate it and know how busy you are. But what an interesting turn of events uh, overnight. Uh, very interesting. Uh, likely to be fascinating for a while to come, Marcus, and at a couple of levels because there's now essentially two whole issues running here. One is the election. That's not done and dusted, though things have shifted a little towards the Democrats. The, the, the recent results would please, um, would please uh, Joe Biden. Yeah. Uh, and the second, of course, is the whole spectre of a legal fight. The, uh, the president talking about taking this to the Supreme Court. Uh, I mean, it was, what, only a few weeks ago, most Australians were shrugging their shoulders, certainly me, and thinking, well, the US Supreme Court and Donald Trump appointing judges... Why would we worry about that? Well, well yes. <laughs> here, here we go. He's taking, he's saying he's taking an election result to the Supreme Court. So suddenly it's looking a whole lot more significant. Well, it is, isn't it? And uh, look, a lot of uh, criticism has been levelled at Donald Trump for uh, making this announcement that he made overnight, uh, our time, of course, saying that, uh, you know, we won this election. Uh, he's basically called it way, way too early. And if you look at some of uh, uh, the figures that are coming through, I mean, he's still some 20 electoral votes behind Biden at this stage. I know there are millions of votes still to be counted, but, I mean, he's called the whole thing a fraud as well. I mean, that doesn't all go well for democracy, does it? Well, it doesn't at all, because uh, you and I have grown up in an era where as fierce as the political contest might have been, when the election result was in, the loser would typically concede, congratulate, and would uh, say something that gave the public confidence that they would abide by the result. Um, that That's uh, part of, if you like, keeping the foundation of democracy, the yes. belief in the fairness of the system, OK and in good shape. Uh, Donald Trump isn't doing that. He's choosing not to do that. He is, he is in many respects... Uh, remaking the mould of modern politics, right, uh, uh, in, in the way he wants it made. And, mm. uh, and this is a big example. And you'd have to think, longer term, it's, uh, it, it could be a cancer on the US uh, and its, its system of democracy. And that's the, that's the worry. Who's going to believe or have faith in the election in the future if, uh, if the loser can just head off to a court and call it into question. Well, that's right. And we know that elections are done, uh, you know, in a democratic way. We, uh, we have faith and trust in the system. We certainly do here in Australia, as Americans should feel uh, confident that that's being undertaken in their country. Uh, but again, uh, Donald writes his own rules. I see he's been uh, in some uh, forms reprimanded by the social media giants, uh, whether on Twitter or on Facebook. Facebook, where uh, some of the tweets that he sent out over the last 12 hours have been, you know, hit with warnings about perhaps false information by uh, Twitter and Facebook as well. Yeah, and there, there's, a, uh, there's a whole new issue in itself. The, the, the giant, uh, the social media giant yeah. becoming arbiters of what's fair and what's not. Now, <laughs> um, uh, that, that is worrying in and of itself, and Donald Trump's got a fair point, but uh, that, uh, as well, the situation created under Donald Trump's administration yeah. has led us to this point. It's pretty extraordinary. So uh, you, at the moment, uh, are, you, are you still with the uh, uh, with the Biden camp? The Biden camp. In Wilmington, is yeah, that right? Yes, indeed. And, and, and in fact, the, the, the giant sort of conference centre where we spoke to you from yesterday, that the car park sitting at the back of this hotel conference centre um, where Joe Biden made his address tonight, we're um, on the opposite side of that car park now expecting uh, an arrival um, by Biden or, or potentially potentially maybe Kamala Harris. We're not oh, okay. sure yeah. any minute. There has already been one Secret Service convoy. The, All right. The, the uh, black vehicles with the... the <laughs> Uh, red and blue lights flashing sure. head into the hotel compound. Another is uh, another may well be coming, we're told, and we're also told to expect the Biden-Harris camp will make a statement shortly. This will be their first response to that extraordinary 
um, presidential address at the White House last night, or at least the, the first response um, from the president by presidential and vice presidential candidates. That's right. All right, uh, Tim, thank you so much for finding some time for us again this morning. We'll catch up uh, hopefully over the next couple of days. And uh, and look, we'll, hopefully uh, this thing isn't headed to the Supreme Court and it can be, uh, you know, a decision made and a president elected outside of a courtroom, Tim. Good on you, Marcus. Hopefully. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. There he is, uh, courtesy of Seven News.